the great Lamont Roach. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? No damn well who I am. Who the fuck is that? Wait, you don't know Lamont Roach? I mean, he just fought on Pro Box. Huh? Pro Box? <laughs> If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG and GM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. We got some great news coming out of the Javante Tank Davis camp, man. It seems like we are one step closer to ascertaining an opponent, you know, for Tank in the imminent future. You know, we're thinking about, you know, November, December. And that opponent is none other than the great Lamont Roach. Wait, you don't know Lamar Roach? I mean, he just fought on Pro Box. Pro Box? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. So I know you may be a little disappointed with the name. You may, be a, you may be a little unfamiliar. But he just fought on Pro Box, and he's a good fighter. And I know that you don't believe me right now. But if you stay tuned to this video, I'm sure I will convince you that he is a viable opponent for the future for the great Javante Tank Davis, you know. And what has plagued Javante Tank Davis is similar to what has plagued Old Cinnamon, you know. So I will Canelo Alvarez is that, you know... If it's not the the big names, then we don't want to see it. Like so, with Canelo, anybody that's not David Benavidez, we automatically are disappointed, and naturally so. We deserve that because we want that fight, you know. So with Javante Tank Davis, if it's not Shakur Stevenson, we're gonna be a little bit disappointed. Maybe Lomachenko you could throw in there too. If it's not one of those two, then we're a little bit disappointed, naturally so. But I'm gonna show you why there's other good fights for for Javante Tank Davis. And I'm not saying Lamont Roach is necessarily one, but I'm just saying he's not as bad as you may initially perceive him to be. So let's get right to it. So let's first let's talk about the disappointment. Because you know y'all y'all want the bad news or the good news first. I think y'all want the bad news and hopefully the good news will cheer you up. So let's start off with the bad news. The bad news is that you know he's not fighting Shakur Stevenson. But those of you that know Shakur, he's out for the year with a hand injury. So that's kind of expected right now. You know Shakur is not only not fighting Tank, but he's not fighting anybody right now. <laughs> So um, that that goes with that, you know, and we got to give some tank some credit with this next person, Vasily Lomachenko, right? Because he did reach out and Vasily Lomachenko said, hey, I'm not fighting for the rest of the year. What? I'm not in the mood. Nigga, you's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that's outside the, that's out of the question. Now we can go to William Zapata. Well, William Zapata was so busy ducking uh, 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 Shakur, you know, he ain't got no time for tank, even though he is the mandatory you know despite him being the mandatory for all sanctioned bodies wba wbc wbo ibf he's not fighting any of any of the champions he elected to fight tevin farmer in november you know november 16th i believe to be exact off the top of my head so he's not gonna get the debate fight because he's busy him busy you know and then next up we have esau people Cruz. well i don't think that the public wants to see that fight that rematch because tank already beat him in a short notice with the hurt hand you know in a short notice for for pitbull too but pitbull just lost to el rayo valenzuela you know at, at 140 so uh i think the intrigue for that fight is a little less even though i would like to see it still but i'm not too excited for that fight you know i would i would rather tank prioritize other fights you know what i'm saying and speaking of rayo you still have rayo valenzuela his name is obviously in the pot you know and, and in the mix according to that post that we just read but robert garcia has evidently been shutting that down saying hey man that's too that's too quick of a turnaround we got to really prepare for tank you know to fight a caliber as great as tank and um you know of um in order to prepare ourselves effectively to take on such a task as tank so he said we're not going for november but it did say november december and i have not seen him uh uh um exclude the opportunity for no for for december yet just november so that's still slightly a possibility that's true then we have raymond Morotala. um i don't think he's really an option so i don't think he's not i don't think he's an option and i don't think he's really ready you know um he's 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 a contender prospect level but i think it's just a little bit too early right now for Morotala to fight tank but i'd be cool with that fight as well but i just think it's too early and and similarly we have kid austin who's ranked number two um in the wba where tank has a belt at i also think that while he is a contender uh, a little bit more than a prospect a contender level but he's still young and i still think he's a little too green as well for that fight so i'm just going down the list of viable opponents for tank you know why it may be appropriate for 
Tank actually did not fight him. And speaking on, you know, the green streak that we're on, we have Andy Cruz, um, who he's ranked pretty high up at the WBA as well. But he too is also, you know, prospect level, prospect contender level. I think he only has four or five fights. So he's not ready for uh, Javante Tank, Tank, Tank Davis yet. And somebody else is ranked pretty high. And another name that we've been here floating around is De La Santos. But I don't know how much interest he'll garner because he had that terrible, horrible, shitty performance against Shakur Stevenson. You know, we mostly blame Shakur Stevenson because he's a more popular fighter. But, you know, he was part of that he was part of that uh, outfit as well, and it takes two to tango. So he was part of that dance team, and they both look bad. So I'm not sure how many people want to see De La Santos, even though I think that fight would be interesting while it lasts. I think Tank knocks him out too. So with that being said, all the, these are I just listed some of the few guys that are protect, that could be potential opponents, you know, in the mix to get Javante Tank Davis, and then in comes Lamont Roach, you know. So I gave you all the reasons why he he probably wouldn't fight those guys, and we'll you know we're talking about Lamont Roach right now being the most viable option most likely option in the future let's let's say why this fight is more intriguing than it seems on the surface you know like i said lamar roach's last fight was on pro box but it was against fear mccrory and um that was a pretty good fight you know um the guy if i'm not mistaken he was undefeated or he did have more than one loss i believe he was undefeated though and that was a good fight even though it was on pro box you know no disrespect to pro pro box if you really watch pro box i know i was joking earlier pro box put on that all their fights are, are are extremely competitive you know what i'm saying so uh, they they don't they don't really do any any easy fights per se so all those fights are hard so lamar rose just because he was on pro box is not a big platform compared to like you know being on pay-per-view or something like that but this is it's a legitimate platform i enjoy i enjoy pro box fights all the time so so uh, i i don't think that's anything to look down upon even though i know people will do it who are extra critical you know what i'm talking about and then let's think about who lamar roach is beating right no let's let's look at the bad stuff first you know the bad stuff first and, and um the, so first he has one loss and that's to jamel herring there's no shame in that you know shakur beat jamel herring um and that was a, a decision loss that's not bad you know um so that's only one blemish on his record you know people are enamored with being undefeated so he's not undefeated but jamel herring is a, is, a, is a good fighter you know former champion now let's get to his wins you know like we already talked about uh, uh fear go mccrory which was his most recent win well his most recent his his next win be, uh uh before the fear go mccrory fight was against hector garcia that name sounds familiar yeah, Hector Garcia is a former champion of super featherweight. He only has two losses, one to Gervonta Tank Davis and one to, you guessed it, Lamont Roach. So they have a commonality in opponents. Now, of course, Tank knocked him out, you know, and, and uh, uh, um, Lamont Roach won via decision. But, you know, styles make fights and all that stuff. So I think that this is this is just some common ground that I'm showing you right now. Now, the other thing is this, right? Lamont Roach is a champion right now, but he's a champion in a smaller division, you know, <laughs> So he's a champion at 130 right now, you know, super featherweight or junior lightweight. So he's he he'll, he will be coming up to challenge Javante Tank Davis. So I know people will be disappointed about that, but he is a champion. So you got to respect him as such. That's just to solidify his worth and how and the quality of fighter that he is. You know, he's a championship level. So you know, um, and when you get to the smaller weights, you know, a lot of people can go through weights, you know, um, um pretty 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 freely, you know, and um and not have too much trouble. So I think this fight is not as bad as it seems on the surface with Lamont Roach being a champion and uh, being a WBA champion, you know, and um exercising his right to maybe challenge for the WBA championship above, you know, if he can't do that. So like I said, it's not set in stone, and I'm not saying that I like this fight. I'm not even defending it. I'm just saying that, you know given the options or lack of options, I don't think this is such a bad fight against Lamar Roach. And I think he, had, he deserves the opportunity to prove himself. Now, the other person, Jose Rayo, I would prefer that fight. You know, Rayo Valenzuela, the Lightning against Javante Tank Davis. But I think Javante Tank Davis uh, against Rayo ends the same way as it does with Lamar Roach. I think he's going to knock them both out viciously. But I do think that Rayo being at 140 makes it a little bit more intriguing because, you know, a, 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 a guy challenging a bigger guy is always more intriguing than a guy challenging a smaller guy you know what i'm saying but i just want to you know shed some light on that because we have the face of boxing cinnamon going through the same struggle trying to ascertain an opponent and find an opponent that the crowd will be intrigued with that's not david benavidez so similar to javante tate davis who i would say either is number two or number three as a um as a second or third most popular boxer between him and AJ, you know, both being after Canelo, you know, he has a similar problem. If he's not fighting Shakur Stevenson or Lomachenko, who doesn't want to fight him, then, you know, people are naturally disappointed. But, you know, if we dig a little deeper, scratch build the surface, we see that some of these matchups are really... Are, are, are pretty good you know have some merit to them you know what i'm saying but y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments am i being too nice do you want are you interested in lamont roach did i open your eyes a little bit or am i tripping i'm like no nah, i don't want to see no tank versus lamont roach he gonna step on him like a roach you know <laughs> so y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about that and if you don't like lamont roach 
who would you rather Javante take Davis fight? That's realistic. Like, don't say Shakur because Shakur's out, right? His hand is hurt. Don't say Zapata. Zapata's occupied. Don't say Loma. Loma says he's not fighting for 2025. So consider all these things that I told you and think about who would you rather see a fight? And when you think about it in those terms, Lamont Roach in November or December, just not that bad. But yeah, that's it for me, man. I just wanted to drop a quick little video and open up your minds a little bit, give you another perspective. And yeah, man, that's it, man. Don't forget to like the video. But most importantly, remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.